Hi, Jonathan here, M0JSX, showroom sales here at Martin Inch & Sons. Today we're going to have another quick look at the Yaesu FT891, the fantastic new mobile HF and 6 meter radio from, uh, from the guys at Yaesu. And today we're going to have a quick look at some of the features and um, some of the problems you can run into uh, when trying to set this radio up, particularly uh, initially with the um, auto tuner, the FC50. So if we have a look at the radio, we can see it sat on the FC50 auto tuner and to get it to work with it, we have to tell the radio that it's got a tuner attached to it. So to do that, we're going to press and hold the F button and go into the full menu. Find your way into the TX general settings. And we're going to scroll down until we see tuner select. So when we get there, we're going to hit on the end of the multi-function uh, multi knob. And we're going to press it. It will select it. And we're going to tell it it's external. We can also set in there it to ATAS or LAMP. Uh, if you're using uh, perhaps an ATAS, you could do that. Maybe you've got it in mobile install. But for now, leave it on external, and that tells the radio it's got the FC50 attached to it. So coming out of the menu, just press that once. And now we can set the tuner to be on one of these bottom buttons. You can already see I've done it on this one. But if we uh, press the F button and find a tuner, uh, which is on that screen, so we can make the B button tuner as well. So if we just press and hold B, it will make that there. So now if we press that, it's not going to do it. I'm going to turn the radio off and on, on again. For some reason, it wanted to do that. So turn it off and not back on again. And there you go. It goes into a tuning cycle. Wonderful. Nice and easy. The other thing we need to do is if you're using this on 5 megs and perhaps you've had it wide banded, there's no obvious way to get to go on to the other sideband. So obviously on 5 megs you need upper sideband rather than lower sideband. It's not obvious, but it does do it. Going back into the full menu, we need to go and find SSB BFO, uh, which is... I'm just trying my head... Uh... There it is. SSB BFO. It's under the mode SSB uh, part of the menu. So what we're going to do is going to hit the button and we can tell it to use uh, upper sideband or lower sideband or auto. So if it's auto, it will automatically do uh, lower sideband below 10 megs and upper sideband above 10 megs. So, but if we force it onto, say, upper sideband, it will operate upper sideband no matter where we are. Uh, you will have to go and change that if you then go back onto 40 meters, for instance. Uh, but that's the easiest way if you've got your radio wide banded and you want to use it on 5 megahertz, that's how to do it. For more tips and tricks, go online. It's hamradio.co.uk and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.